Here are Java's way to declare two-dimensional arrays. In this example, we want to use a two-dimensional array to record the Olympic medals by country. And all, uh, the rows will be the country. The rows will be the country. And the columns will be the medals. So we declare a med a medals is our uh, variable name, medals, by as int. Uh, it's an integer, but we have a uh, using a two matching pair, matching pair of a square bracket to declare the two dimensional. The first is the country, the second is the medals. We then declare new int. So they say we have 10 country and three columns of metal, gold, silver, and bronze. Uh, when we declare this array, and then uh, the rows will be the country. And then the column, let's say the first one in the gold, the second one in the silver, and the third one in the bronze medal. And the first country, you could say Canada, and then uh, USA, Germany, uh, second, third, and fourth UK, and France, and et cetera, et cetera. And then we can uh, put the number, let's say uh, gold is, uh, Canada has one, two, three, USA four, two, one. So when we declare this matrix and the number, uh, the rows will be the country and the columns will be the metals. Now, how do we initialize the two dimensional arrays? We are again going to use a matching, uh, this sort of curly parentheses. But inside of the matching curling process, we're again going to use the matching curling process to specify each row. So the first row, we're going to say is one, two, three. That's the first row. Second row will be a four, two, one. So the curly there, and then comma. And now the third row will be three, zero, comma and uh, five, and curly, and then we can comma, and so on. The last row after the curly parenthesis does not need a comma to end it. 